I am Vinita Vishnoi and today we are starting with a new chapter, the overview of cell structure. In this 9th standard, we will be learning about the basic things and when we go in 10th standard, I will be taking you in the detail of each and every topic related to this. Now, as you know that the cell is the basic unit of life. So whether it is animal, it is plant, it is microorganisms, each and every organism present on earth is made up of this cell. Now when we talk about the proper definition of cell, the cell is the basic structure and function unit of life. So always remember whenever we ask about the cell, we ask about the definition of cell, you have to give this definition only. So when the cell is being talked about, the cell is having three basic parts which are common in all type of cells. You talk about any kind of cell, these three important parts are common in all. The first part is the cell membrane. The cell membrane is the outermost covering of the cell which differentiates the cell inside environment with the outside environment. The next is the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is the jelly-like substance which is suspended inside the cell and which holds the different organelle of the cell. And the third most important part of the cell is the nucleus which carries our genetic material. So on the basis of this nucleus, we can differentiate the cells in two different types just on the basis of this nucleus. So when you see this kind of cell, what you will find is this part is called as the nucleus which is having the genetic material. Now you can find in this picture you can see there are two different cells. One is this and the other is this. Now can you see the difference between these two type of cell? Now when we see this cell, this is little complicated than the other type of cell. What is this complication is? First, the nucleus which is the center most part of the cell. Fine. Next, you can see these suspended very reticulated structure it is called as the mitochondria. If you remember, it is called as the powerhouse of the cell. Next, you can see the nucleus is surrounded by these tube-like structure which is called as endoplasmic reticulum which is surrounding the nucleus. And the important thing here is this cytoplasm which is present in each and every type of cell. Now, I was telling you the complexity. So, on the basis of this complexity, the cells which is having this well-developed nucleus. Well-developed nucleus means the nucleus which is having a well-defined nuclear membrane. So, that is called as eukaryotic cell. So, what do you mean by this U? U is called as the new type of cell. On what basis we call the cell as new? The basis of this karyotic. Karyotic means nucleus. So the cells which is having, the cell which is having this well defined nucleus is called as eukaryotic cell. And these eukaryotic cells are present in animals as well as in plants. Now, when we see this eukaryotic cell, it is, it can be unicellular, it can be multicellular. Now see, now let's see the next kind of cell which is called as the prokaryotic cell. Now you find that this prokaryotic cell may, pro matlab see in biology every word has its own meaning and you have to remember this. So here, Pro means primitive and karyotic means as I told you earlier, it is the nucleus. So the cells which are having primitive type of nucleus is called as 
prokaryotic cells now always these are the basics i am telling you always remember the prokaryotic cells are unicellular they cannot can never ever be multicellular so these are the two type of cells on the basis of the nucleus now you see when i talk about the nucleus of prokaryotic cell so the nucleus will not be having the well developed membrane but it will be having the cell membrane and directly inside the cell membrane what you are finding is the genetic material now you tell me this fluorescent type of structure is called as the genetic material and i told you what is the genetic material it is dna remember dna means deoxyribonucleic acid so in prokaryotic cell the membrane is there and directly after the membrane you will get this genetic material and this fluorescent kind of genetic material is the dna so this is the prokaryotic cell and it is the simplest type of cell so you got an idea about the prokaryotic as well as the eukaryotic cell now i told you i told you this the next topic is the cell organelle because before that i have differentiated between the eukaryotic and prokaryotic now let's talk about this organelles you know we are having organs animals are having organs plants are having organelles now what do you mean by this organelle 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 is the organelles are the small little units present in a cell now let's talk about the different organelles i told you in the previous topic that the complicated cells are different organelles like mitochondria which is called as the power house of the cell the endoplasmic reticulum which is surrounding the nucleus and the most important one is the nucleus the nucleus which carries our genetic material now let's see this purple structure is the nucleus and this nucleus is a double membrane structure means the nucleus is divided is nucleus is surrounded by two membranes and the nucleus when we go inside the nucleus as you can see in this video we can see this fluorescent blue color dna dna is nothing but a long thread like structure and that long thread like structure makes the chromosome so what we call as chromosome is made up of dna so when you see the rope when you will start twisting the rope and the rope will twist and it will become smaller in size that is called as the chromosome and that rope like structure is known as dna now whenever the cell is dividing the cell will have this long thread like structure which later on forms the chromatin so what is this chromatin it is this next upper level of dna and after chromatin after more contraction and twisting you will see dna in the cell so you can see in this video that dna makes the chromatin chromatin is this web like structure here it has been shown in this picture and this dna this chromatin afterwards make this chromosome like structure and this is how chromosome is formed in our cells can you see here in this picture yes now the next topic the next topic means when we go inside the nucleus it is first thing which we have seen is chromosome the next is the nucleolus nucleolus is a site where ribosomes are formed as you have already read about the ribosome the ribosomes are the units which helps in the protein synthesis so nucleolus is a very darkly stained part inside the nucleus which forms this yellow color structure which is shown in the diagram which is called as ribosomes now these small pore like structure if you can see here is the nuclear pore nuclear pore has to be present inside the nucleus so that the ribosomes the rna which are forming inside the nucleus can
कैन कम आउट तो जैसे ही वो बाहर आएंगे तभी तो दे विल बी हेल्पिंग इन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस ऑफ प्रोटीन सो वो बनते तो न्यूक्लियस के अंदर है बट उनको न्यूक्लियस के बाहर आना पड़ेगा तब जाके उनका प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस हो पाएगा सो दिस राइबोसोम्स आर कमिंग थ्रू दिस न्यूक्लियर पोर आउटसाइड द न्यूक्लियस इन टू द साइटोप्लाजम फॉर द प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस यू कैन सी दे आर मूविंग आउट दे आर बीन एंटैंगल्ड विद द एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम वो एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम के साथ जाके अटैच हो जाएंगे नाउ नेक्स्ट टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू दिस इज द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू दिस इज द फंक्शन ऑफ राइबोजोम एज आई टोल्ड यू एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी शोन इन द डायग्राम दैट इट हेल्प इन द सिंथिस ऑफ प्रोटीन Now, rough endoplasmic reticulum. Rough endoplasmic reticulum is the protein factory of the cells. Protein factory in cells, whatever proteins. I have told you that in the cytoplasm, we have to make a protein. Now, how to make the protein? How to check the proof reading that the protein is right or not? What do we need to do next? All of this is done with the endoplasmic reticulum. So, in this lecture. let me stop with this topic only and we will be revising whatever i have taught you in this lecture fine and you have to answer for this let's have a quick revision for the topic now fine now you can see here in this structure I have marked with this arrow. What do you mean by this structure? What do you call this structure? I told you it is the protein factory, and it is present surrounding the nucleus. Yes, it is the endoplasmic reticulum. Now, fine. And this fluorescent purple color structure is the DNA, the genetic material. And this type of cell is called as prokaryotic cell. These are the two different kind of cells. One is eukaryotic, other is prokaryotic. Eukaryotic is complex, as you can see in this structure, and the prokaryotic cell is simplest one. So, what do you mean by you? You means new kind of cell which is having well differentiated nucleus. Karyotic means nucleus and pro means the cells which are having primitive type of nucleus primitive means the cells the nucleus which will not be surrounded by the nuclear membrane fine this is all about the basic unit of cell i have gave you the brief about it एंड जैसे जैसे आप नेक्स्ट क्लासेस में जाएंगे मैं आपको एक हर एक जो मैंने माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया का नाम लिया मैंने एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम का नाम लिया आई विल बी टीचिंग यू अबाउट दीज ऑर्गेन इन डिटेल विद वेरी गुड वीडियोस टिल देन बाय थैंक यू